Oh. Hey, my life. What's up, guys? David Sherwack here, and today I'm going to be going over five things that Kendama players hate. All right, so the first one here is one that happens to me pretty much all the time, and this is landing an amazing trick but not on film. So like I said, this happens to me like all the time. I'll just be like jamming in my room or somewhere. I'm just jamming. I'm not trying to land any specific trick. I'm not filming. And I land a trick that I've obviously never done before in my life. Right after I land it, I'm super hyped on it. But then I realize that I wasn't filming and that nobody is actually gonna see the trick. So that is definitely one of the most depressing things to happen to a Konama player. I don't know if this just happens to me, but honestly it happens way too much. Like a couple days ago actually, I was just jamming and I actually landed a 20 insta lighthouse flip. So I did 20 insta lighthouse flips. That's right. That's a pretty insane trick, I think at least. But of course I wasn't filming so no one's gonna see that and I know right, first world problems. My life, my life sucks guys. All right, number four here is having knots in your string. Now this is something that um, I actually have happened to me quite a bit. I feel like I get more knots than most people do. So yeah, this one, I'm pretty familiar with this one. Obviously you're playing Dama, all of a sudden your string gets tangled up. You don't even realize sometimes that you got a knot in it. But over time you might have one, two, three, maybe even four knots in your string. Um, that's definitely happened to me before. The most I've had in a string at once, I'm pretty sure, was four or five. So that's just so insane. Having knots is honestly like the worst thing. And it sucks for me too because I suck at getting them out. For some reason, I just can't get knots out. I'm just really trash at it. And yeah, it also like shortens your string length. So that sucks. And it's just, it really doesn't look good. It's just really annoying to have tons of knots in your string. All right, this one is probably one of the most aggravating ones, and this is missing spike. Now, this could happen to you while you're not filming, while you are filming, it doesn't really matter, but it is especially aggravating if you if it happens while you are filming because you, you're filming for a specific reason. You're filming to land that trick, and the spike is obviously the ending part of the trick. If you don't get the spike, it doesn't count. So, not landing the spike is definitely one of the most annoying things to happen. I've probably missed 150 spikes in my life, like the ending spikes of a trick. Um, honestly, it's just like the worst feeling. If any of you guys have had that happen to you, which you probably all have, you guys definitely know what I'm talking about. Talking about. Can't even speak English. Missing the spike, it really sucks. All right, the second last one here is having flat spikes. So having flat spikes, if you haven't played Konama that much, it might not seem that bad. But you're gonna realize soon that having a flat spike makes it a lot harder to, you know, land those spike tricks. Um, it looks ugly, of course. You always wanna have a fresh spike because it looks nice. But like I said, it makes it a lot harder to land those spike tricks. Um, a flat spike does help for like border balance, tightrope, stuff like that. But if you're not really into those types of tricks and you do just more spike tricks in general, it's gonna make it a lot harder. Now there is people who glue their spikes, so they use some certain type of glue to kind of prevent the spike from wearing down as fast. I don't have that glue, so I've never even tried that. So pretty much every Dama I play, over time it's gonna have a pretty flat spike, which obviously really sucks. And the last one here is, you guys can probably guess it, um, this is probably one of the most annoying ones, and this is having a base cup chip. Now, I said base cup chip, but this can be pretty much a chip anywhere on the Ken or the Tama. Um, I've seen people have chips on their Tamas, like around the bevel. I've seen people like part of their Tama just chip off, which is really weird. I don't even know how that happens. Obviously, the most common one, like I said, is a base cup chip. Those happen to me all the time. I've probably had like 30 to 40 kendamas have base cup chips. Sometimes you'll just get a little small one, but then sometimes you'll get a huge one and then you'll get multiple ones after that. And obviously having those base cup chips, it's gonna make it harder to do handle stalls especially. Um, it's harder to do lighthouses on them as well. It's just harder to do pretty much every single trick. And obviously, kendamas, you want them to look nice as well, not to just play good, but to look nice too. And if it has a huge base cup chip right there, it's really not gonna look that good. All right, so that was pretty much it for these five things that Kendama players hate. Let me know if you guys agree with this list down below. 
um, yeah, I've pretty much had, yeah, I've had every single one of these happen to me, so, um, comment down below what your least favorite things in Kendama are. Um, also tell me down below if you guys like this video too. Um, I might do another one of these because I can easily think of five more things, um, that annoy us as Kendama players. So, yeah, hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, we're on that road to 10k, so do it we're almost there we're at like 8.1k when i'm filming this so go subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace i feel so bad filming this video there's literally kids starving in africa and i'm just sitting here on my iphone x looking at a list of things that really don't matter but I'm complaining about them.